Hi everyone, a very warm welcome to you all at BISP Solutions. My name is Farha Alam and in this session we are going to see the HCM BI Publisher Data Modeler. So we are just going to take a look on this uh, um, subject which is uh, BI Publisher Data Modeler. So before we proceed and see how do we create our data model in uh, our fusion instance we uh, should take a look on uh, data model what is data model and what does it do so we here so basically what is data model so a data model is an object that contains a set of instructions so it means that this data model is basically serves as a container which uh, contains a certain set of instructions provided by the user and uh, based on those instructions provided by the user uh, in the data model it will act or behave uh, next it is used to retrieve and structure data for a pixel perfect report which means that it is but obvious that we are going to fetch or retrieve some data or information using the data model. So what can we do over here? Whatever data we are going to fetch, uh, we can basically uh, generate uh, the reports based on that data which we are going to fetch. And uh, what kind of report we can generate? We can generate pixel perfect report. So pixel perfect report is nothing but a highly formatted report used by the business organizations. Next, we have data models resides as a separate objects in the catalog, which means that uh, this data model, where do from where do we get this particular data model? So whenever we go to our instance and then when we reach out to our BI server, then there is a separate uh, uh, object available under uh, the catalog uh, window. We have a separate option uh, available, which is data models. And by using that data model, we can write our instruction so on the whole we can say data model is basically uh, serves as a platform where we can write our sql instructions what kind of instructions we can write over there we can write our sql queries so and so so what, uh, when we create our data model, we have to create certain data sets under data model. So what is data set? So the data set is uh, the name itself is self-explanatory that uh, it contains certain sets of data. Like what kind of data set we are going to create or define under our data model. Like uh, uh, either we are going to fetch uh, uh, the HR data. So if we want to fetch uh, or retrieve the HR data, then we are going to create the data sets uh, for HR. And uh, if uh, we are going to fetch the finance data, then we are going to create the data sets based on finance module and so on. So uh, today we are going to see how do we create our data sets using query builder. So qu what is query builder? So query builder is nothing, but it's uh, again a predefined uh, tool provided by Oracle, which enables us to search the database objects, we can search our particular database objects uh, using with the help of this query builder. We can select the objects and columns we want, whatever columns we want to fetch. We can uh, define it over here using query builder. We can create relationship between the objects and views and we can generate the formatted query results. And we can generate uh, formatted query results with the help of this query builder uh, while having a very few or basic knowledge of SQL. So we don't need to be, a, we don't need any kind of expertise for the SQL query. We, with the help of a few or basic uh, SQL knowledge, we can create our data sets using query builder. So we are just going to see how do we create this one so let's just go to the instance and see how do we create our data sets using query builder so we just have to go to the navigator and click on the reports and analytics then browse catalog then we will lend to our bi server And here, this is basically our 
these are basically the this is basically our bi environment and here i have told you that this data model is a separate object that contains uh, under the catalog window so here is the catalog window and from uh, here i am going to select my desired destination where i am going to create my data model so here is it, here it is and we just have to go to create option and select the data model option so here one uh, blank data model has been opened before us now the next step is to create the data set so we just have to click on this new data set option click on it and click on sql query as data model uh, here we can write our sql query so i am going to uh, work for a, a hr data set so i am going to fetch some employee details so respective name i am going to provide it over here data source i am going to use oracle bie -E, which stands for oracle business intelligence enterprise edition and here instead of writing a uh, an SQL query, I'm going to use the query builder as we are in this session, we are going to see the query builder option. Click on it. And here one wizard will get open before us. So here our uh, query builder uh, window has displayed uh, has been opened before us now what we have to do we just have to uh, select our uh, schema under this uh, catalog option so i'm going to as i'm going to work uh, for the uh, hr data so i'm going to select the schema as workforce management this is this is going to be my schema workforce management work assignment real time i'm going to select it and be, based on the schema it will uh, basically uh, display the uh, respective tables for that one so i'm going to select first i'm going to select here basically one more thing i want to show i'm going to create uh, the query builder data model so these information i'm going to fetch right business unit name person id so just select the business unit and from here we have i'm going to select the business unit name next i'm going to select the department so here it is click on department name select it and next I'm going to select the worker table and from worker table, I'm going to select the employee name. Person number, person ID, then employee name, person type and employee date of birth then I'm going to select full time or part time whether the employee is full time worker or part time worker and if you want to include some other uh, um, columns you can include it so this is basically the columns which i have selected uh, now after selecting all the co uh, columns i'm going to click on the results tab so whether we are able to see some results or not So here we can see 
our data over here business unit name department name person number id employee name person type date of birth and whether the worker is full time or part time right now it is displaying only 10 rows if we want to display more number of rows we can select it over here okay so this is basically uh, now the next is when i click on this sql so uh, the sql query has been generated for this record so here we can see the query has been generated without writing a single sql query it basically it is generated in the uh, back end whatever uh, columns we had selected over here from the database tables it has generated the sql query for that one so when next i will show you some conditions like what conditions we can use it over here so when i go back to this conditions tab here we have a conditions option available so for let's suppose for business unit name or for this uh, department name uh, i want to show only the what business units we have we have so many different business units available but i want to see only the us1 business units information so how can we do that we just have to provide under condition equal to sign and under single quote we have to provide the appropriate business unit name let's suppose i am going to provide us1 business unit i want to see only the us1 business unit information let's click on results it is loading so here we can see our data has been filtered based on the condition I had provided like a business unit name is us1 business unit now if under full time or part time there are some null information available so i don't want to uh, see the null information right so how do we um do that so basically it is for full time or part time i don't want to display the null information or null values so what he, what i have to do i just have to provide the condition is not equal to and under single quote null click on the results so here we can see the null values has been removed from this particular column which is full time or part time next and uh, one more thing i want to show you like uh i want to uh, show you uh, how we can uh, use the parameters in the query builder right so uh for this uh for department name let's suppose for department name i want my user it uh, to prompt it what will happen this parameter will going to prompt the user when it uh, when the user will run this particular data model it will prompt the user and ask for the department name and whatever uh, department name the user provide it will going to uh, fetch the data based on the department name so how we can provide the parameters over here so we just have to type one keyword over here which is in and under parenthesis we have to put a colon and then p p stands for basically stands for parameter and we have to provide the column name in caps department and then click on results so it will prompt the user and ask please enter a value for department so i am going to uh, provide the department name as uh, so many different departments are available over here so let's suppose i want to see human resources us uh, provide the uh, department name and click on okay so based on the 
parameter the data has been refreshed the data will get refreshed so here you can see the department name contains only human resources as i had provided this one in the parameter after doing all these uh, things or whatever things you want to perform it over here we just have to click on save so then what will happen the uh, sql query has been generated and it has displayed under the data sets now the next step is to click on ok so you you have you observed or noticed that uh, without writing a single sql query the query has been automatically generated only what we have done we have some uh, we have performed certain kind of drag and drop uh, functions right so the query has been generated click on ok So it is asking for parameter enable this option yes i want to implement the parameter for my this data model here if you want to change the name for your parameter you can change it i want to uh, display provide the display name as enter department this is basically this is going to be my display name click on then click on view data and then here we can see uh, the uh, label over here which is enter department and we have to provide the department name click on view let me check okay so here we can see the human resources ca departments information over here all the department contains human resources ca this is basically the tree view of the records and if we want to see the table view we can click on this table view and we can select the number of rows from here we can select it it will display that particular number of rows we have selected over here click on view So here we can see as only this CA department only comes under these number of rows that's why it is displaying only this much of information if I click on 5 then it will display the 5 rows okay so this is basically uh, uh, about the uh, BI publisher data model and how can we write our uh, um, and how can we create our data model using query builder and all about our today's session if you have any query regarding this one you can please reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com or www.bisptrainings.com then we'll continue in our next upcoming sessions thank you everyone